So starting the test drive in this RSQ8, goodness gracious. When the full power of the twin turbo V8 kicks in, it really does throw you back and it's got such a great rumble to it. And there are several different modes that you can go through here. You can just hit the RS button if you want to. And then you have the drive select down here where you can go between auto, dynamic, all-road, off-road, comfort. And it just, it gives you so many different driving experiences depending on what you're looking for. But what's crazy is just coming downhill here, it's very, very quiet. And I mean, the sound acoustics in here are very good. Even with 23 inch wheels, the ride quality is pretty nice. Just a very impressive setup here for the SUV in general. Yeah, it's crazy just the sound deadening, everything that's going into this because AC is off, but it's still almost, I'd say it's quieter than most EVs just in terms of the road noise. And with this being a twin turbo V8, I would expect it to be louder in here, but it really isn't. So very impressed by that, especially for a vehicle that you can get now for under $100,000. But a good feel here in terms of the seat especially, it feels very sporty, it's very supportive, but I can fit in it just right. And it's nice and snug, but not overly tight, if that makes sense. I don't feel like it's doing too much. So we're gonna go ahead and take it on the interstate here. I'm gonna put it into the RS1 mode, and then we're also gonna put it into the manual mode and see what it can do. Yeah, the power this thing has is absolutely ridiculous. It's so quick and it's just, when you put your foot into it and you get that roar just between the engine, the exhaust and the nice hard but not overly rough shifts, it just, you feel like you're in something that's been from another world almost. I mean, the acceleration is crazy. It's also so effortless though. Once you find the gear that you need and those turbos give you that pull, it's just, it's fantastic. That's the only way to describe it. It's a fantastic feeling SUV. It's so quick, but then once you let off, it's just, your everyday driver. And even though this has the same powertrain as the Urus, it's still, this feels less stiff to me. And I think they were doing that on purpose. This is more of the luxury oriented one. Now the Urus still rides fantastically, but I feel like the Urus always lets you know that it's a Lamborghini. Even when you have it in comfort mode, the exhaust is down, you're just cruising, it still lets you know you're in a Lamborghini, where this lets you know you're in an Audi, but if you put it into that RS mode, you feel like you're in a Urus. So a great overall package for a sport luxury SUV. Now in terms of the price point for this right now, not bad, these are actually starting to kind of show their reliability. And I've seen a lot of these Euruses, especially that have 60, 70,000 miles and they're still bringing 150, $160,000 all day. And I'm sure you'll see a ton of these go over 100,000 miles in the next couple of years because people who have the Euros, they drive them like Range Rovers. And I've seen a lot of Range Rovers, especially diesels with 150, 200,000 miles and people just ran them into the ground and they're still running. So I think you'll see quite a few of these 
in that realm, especially as auto prices get back to normal. We'll see these a bit cheaper with maybe 50, 60,000 miles. And people who drive them more often, who have to work, will put more miles on them every year. But all in all, just a, a fun SUV, somewhat practical SUV, practical SUV other than the gas mileage. And this will bring me to the end of my review of this 2022 Audi RS Q8.